Bliss viewers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am thrilled to share with you all to share with you an incredible story from back in 2015 when I had the incredible opportunity to talk with Techno in London during my university days. Now before we get started if I'm looking down, it's just because I am reading stuff from my phone because otherwise I would not get anything across it and I would forget what I want to say. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this is my video on my experience with Take That um, because it was an incredible um experience and I just want to get it out there. I don't know if I posted about this in the past but I'm going to do an updated version of it anyway in case of the new guys around are uh, wanting to see it so yeah. So let's dive right in shall we? So picture this. I was part of a fake choir, that's right, fake choir, and we embarked on a whirlwind tour with Tank Nat for 13 magical nights, it's an odd number but hey ho, it is what it was, each night was filled with music energy and unforgettable moments that I will cherish forever and I have so many stories about these nights so buckle in and let's go so picture this so we just did that didn't we so each night was filled with music energy and unforgettable moments that I will cherish her forever which I do when I listen to um a tape song tape that song it always fads my my memories and I love it and so on the final night of so before um yeah, so before we, we move on, there's a bit that I want to add in. So, on one of the nights, I was feeling a bit... Not under the weather, but I weren't feeling right. And I just had classes at university for the last day. And I had to go straight from the O2 to uni university to the O2. Luckily they were literally right next door. Um and I had to go and perform and I don't think I've eaten anything during the day. So I think I got a bit lightheaded and that's why I felt dizzy and like I wanted to faint. Because when we was on stage, we was doing Relight My Fire. And the reason why I remember it was Relight My Fire because they done the indoor fireworks. And I, let's say I nearly passed that. Um, because if I went that way, I would have hit one of the boys for sure. Um, but luckily, um, there was ambulance people nearby if I needed one but I didn't need I just needed a bite to eat and a drink and the crew members kept on making sure I was okay so that was nice of them so I just wanted to put that story in there um, but on the final night of our tour as we gathered in our green room so it weren't really a green room it was basically a a basic room where we all gathered to get our costumes, our props, 
and put our coats and bags in while we're on stage. While we was in this room, the members of Take Night, so... Oh, Gary Barlow, Howard Donald, and who was the other one? Mark Owen came into our... Um, surprised us with a visit. They personally thanked us for being the, choir, the fake choir and for being part of this incredible journey. Um, the, grat the gratitude in their eyes and words touched our hearts in ways we couldn't describe and um, it was just an amazing and if you're lucky enough to stand in front row, so I have, um, we were behind the boys on the stage and you had like a seats, row of seats and if you was on the, lucky enough on the front row during the performances there was a chance that Mark would reach out and slap your hand create a, a moment of connection that felt surreal and exhilarating so Mark would come and slap our hand to say thank you um, at least one person got to sit in the front row one one night and then H Howard would go and sit on someone's lap during the performance but I, can, but I didn't get to do that unfortunately so yeah but the excitement didn't stop there some nights we even started the, Ame the Ame mexican wave like imagine you're sitting on stage at the o2 arena the crowd is coming in you're waiting for the band to come in and start and you're just sitting there patiently waiting with the audience and all of a sudden, you do the American wave. It was incredible. Um, igniting the crowd with energy and infusing. Infuse now, I feel the entire venue. The atmosphere was electric. And the memories we created together were simply unforgettable. So, yeah. <laughs> I will never forget these memories and uh, my favourite part was um, it was June Hold Up A Light my favourite techno song we would hold up at these torches and the, like a flash to light June Hold Up A Light and the crowd would like, uh, hold up their phones and hold them up and seeing that back on stage was incredible um, no, I've seen it stage point of view and I've seen it audience point of view epic if you know what I'm going on about you know but if I can find a picture I will post it so so there you have it guys that was my voting nights oh, with Torin with Take That in London was a dream come true filled with music and moments that will stay with me forever so thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane now i do have more stories related to take that so if you want uh if you want me to do more of these stories then let me know in the comments down below because i shall do them um, but if you enjoyed this video, this story time video, don't forget to like that button, don't forget to hit the like button, I can't talk now, subscribe to my channel and turn on my notification bell for more capitating house like this because I do have a lot more stories that I can tell and until next time peace spreading love and positive
positivity wherever you go and I'll see you in the next video bye bye mm -hmm.